basically when you lower the aperture you seriously uh, lower your depth of field so everything becomes very flat but is that a high depth of field or a low depth of field I can never remember I can't remember one of them we'll have a nice parakeet section so let's go let's go let's just do this And we've got another special episode today. I'm here in Rome to show you around. We are in the Piazza del Popolo in the center of Rome and it's been absolutely scorching. Um, I've been here on a work trip and then taken a few days out to check out the sites. I've never been here before. There's some amazing buildings like this behind me. Um, I've been done all the big sites yesterday, like the Colosseum, uh, the Roman Forum. Only three days isn't even enough to cover everything. Uh, we've been going pretty much non-stop and haven't seen like a whole bunch of things. Lots of old churches, lots of old ruins, missed out on the Sistine Chapel, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, it's also good. I love when I'm in cities to go and find the green spaces, go and find some natural parks because um, Often it can get a bit intense, the heat, uh, there's no shade, the buildings are all white and very reflective, it gets very, very, very hot. So it's gonna, I'm gonna go find a nice green space, probably up the hill here. I'm kind of close to the Spanish steps and the Trevi Fountain, they're like 10 minutes that way. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna head up there, see what, see what I can find. Maybe film a little, a little 10 meter section for you all and see, see what happens. So I'll see you all in a moment. <coughs> interesting because the last episode you will have seen will have been Svalbard so we've gone from Arctic to Mediterranean in an instant um, and it is very different as you can imagine we've suddenly got all sorts of different plants different animals um, lots of old architecture and stuff sticking up so we could have a very very interesting episode so I can hear lots of parakeets so maybe at this point we'll have a nice parakeet section because I think they're, although they're invasive, they're pretty cool birds, so parakeet section here. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish I would. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Everybody watch out. Watch out now. I'm ready for a good time And I came to groove The whole band's here and we came to move Got a fresh haircut and two new shoes We're here all night like we got nothing to lose Coming out the jacket cause we're turning up the heat I wanna see you clapping when you get up out your seat It's time to make it happen when we hit these streets I'm coming in hot and I can't be beat Watch out now Baby watch out Hello everyone, I'm back and uh I actually didn't end up doing a video yesterday um, when I said I was going to near the Spanish steps because the heat was so strong. It was really, really hot yesterday. And I also thought that I kind of overplanned the situation a bit. I'd uh, thought too hard about where I was going to do it, which isn't the point of this whole exercise. The point of this whole exercise is to not think about it, is to just do it. So. We're in a bit of a rush right now. Again, I've got to catch a flight soon. Always seems to be the way. But I'm basically just going to find 10 meters very quickly. Now I've got a different way. I'm at the Via de Pamphili, I think it's called. And anyway, it's nowhere near where I was yesterday. 
um, but uh, it's just quite close to my accommodation. So, hey look, this looks nice. I'm just walking down a little path, you can see. I wanted, I really wanted to do an arid environment, that was the thing, and I, I haven't had the opportunity to do an arid environment yet. Um, and so, I just felt so tired and just like I didn't want to do it yesterday and the heat was a lot, so now here we are. Rejuvenated, bit of energy. Let's see what we can do, there's a butterfly right there. I don't want to pre-select my spot, but this whole path area is nice. There's a bit of, there's a bench, there's a bit of stuff at the edge. Um, I just don't want to be where too many people are going to be walking up and down. I don't want to get in the way of people. There's some fart, there's some, there's some fart trees, there's, there's some palm trees, there's some, there's a big archway there. But I haven't really got time, I've got like half an hour now, like literally. I've done the same same thing again where I've pushed it too late, but it, it just restricts what, what's more what I can do. But you know what, let's just pick this, this path through here. What else can you do, eh? I'm gonna go from 10 meters. This tree, looks like a little cypress tree here. There's a bench right here. And I'm gonna basically go from the bench all the way down to that cypress along the edge of the path here. I think that's good. I wanna do an arid environment, so let's see what this brings. Uh, maybe we'll get a lizard if we're lucky. Maybe we'll get some butterflies. There's a couple of flowers and things. Bugs, beetles, I don't know. It's gonna be an interesting one. I have literally no idea what to expect. Mad. We're gonna go for 45 minutes. There's the stopwatch. Oh, I put it on the wrong thing. Start, there. We're running, so let's go, let's go. Let's just do this, okay. Decent. Uh, I've got to head back now, it's 12, I've really got to rush back. Interesting one, I started focusing on the parakeets. Sorry I can't tell you what I was doing while I was doing it, but um, I was filming. Uh, I tried to focus on the parakeets a bit because they were all around me, just about right, right after I started really. Lots of nice, very nice uh, wildlife there actually. Um, very surprising for such an arid place and I wanted to kind of capture the arid feel in the video. I wanted to show that it was dry and kind of hostile because it feels very hostile especially in this heat but there's still a lot of biodiversity there which is fascinating. Um, struggle a bit with the settings again like I said yesterday and like I showed yesterday in the footage the um, exposure and stuff and getting the aperture right when it's so bright it's very hard because um, you keep going in and out of shadows and that took half the time. I'll see what I can do. I think there's going to be maybe a little narrative around those uh, parakeets today. Tried to capture a little bit of the fact that there were some Roman-ish buildings around, Italian buildings around. I wanted to put that in to some degree to show that that is where I was. But otherwise, pretty interesting one. I would have actually liked to spend another hour there. It's really interesting because that was a very barren looking place very barren looking and arid but there was a lot to see some bushes with loads of bugs on them but I could I kind of feel like I've done a macro kind of vibe already so I just wanted to see what took my interest that's a nice arch behind me hey look at that pretty cool okay so that's that um, I'm gonna have to put this camera away and pretty much leg it back now so I hope you do enjoy this film
the Mediterranean summer can become extremely hot, and during a heat wave, temperatures can soar to above 40 degrees centigrade. These extreme conditions can take a serious toll on the local flora and fauna. Inevitably, some cannot survive. Here on the Janiculum, a hill on the southwest of Rome, plants are drying out, and animals are struggling to find water. If the heat wave continues, this ecosystem could be in real threat. The animals that are adapted better to these conditions tend to have a wider range, or even originate in a different region of the world. That is exactly the case for one particular species of bird that is thriving across Europe, and indeed, also here in Rome. The ring-necked parakeet, also known as the rose-ringed parakeet. Originally from Central Africa and the Indian subcontinent, the ring-necked parakeet is resilient to both the heat and the cold. Populations in the UK have reached 30,000, and here in Italy there are around 10,000 living happily across city parks. However, it's not all fun and games. These parrots gorge on seeds, nuts and buds, but can cause havoc to cropland. They are also so resilient they outcompete native birds, threatening local populations. So don't be charmed by these birds' comical behaviour, because they're a real pest. nice uh, wildlife there actually. Um, it's very surprising, it's such an arid place and I wanted to kind of capture the arid feel in the video.